Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. I'm about a minute or two early. But, you know, so a couple of housekeeping before I get started. You may hear my dog. You may hear the kids running around outside. It's 7 o'clock. The sun is still out. <laughs> um, so sorry about that. I was trying to uh, host tonight at another studio. But it's just Friday. I couldn't get over there. And I have so much to do. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to wait till exactly 7. And then... Um, I'm going to ask if you can put on look. No, I'd rather not. Thank you. Um, so anyway, so I'm going to wait for a couple more people to come on and then, um, you guys, I am really, really loving these little waves. I hate to get rid of them. I'm going to go like one more round. It's a different style tomorrow and then that's going to be it. Um, but it's so cute. I like it a lot. But I, I want to grow out my hair a little bit more right in the front. So it kind of is longer here. So, anywho. Okay. So, it's 7 o'clock now. So, I do want to always be on time. Because I know you guys don't have a whole lot of time to be wasting. And you want to learn what you want to learn. So, welcome to Fashion Friday. Um, tonight, we're talking about what to wear for date night. Um, I thought it would be appropriate that I wear red because um, one of my favorite colors for date night is red. I think red is a very sexy color, but also a powerful color. Um, and I have a date tonight anyway, so I thought I will just wear red anyways. Um, so um, I wanted to just give you a couple of first my date night, um, I guess my go-tos for date night. Um, for date night, I always try, this is one of my favorite tips, to expose my collarbone. I don't know what it is about men and collarbones, but it drives them wild. I don't know why. Um, there is some kind of like statistic that talks about exposing the collarbone. Even if my top was right here, it'd be okay. But this having a collarbone with no necklace, just like having all of this open, it really is like a um, some type of like attraction that men have to that. So I always try to do that. Always red lips for date night. Um, my splash of color is usually red or um, like a um, animal print, which is super, super sexy. And then just a couple of like for sure gotta haves. So usually when I dress for date night, I always tell my clients to always have some sparkle around here. So you can do that in a couple of ways. You can have like a, this is my favorite Ardell Sensual Eyeshadow. I don't know if you can see that. That is really, really pretty. It's like a little shimmer, you see that? I can put that like on my eyes, on my little tip of my nose and my cheekbone. And it gives a really nice bronzy, shimmery, gold look. And I absolutely love that. Always sparkle in your ear if you want to. I may change out my earrings to put these on here. Just because I like to have a little sparkle around my face. Um, or you can do both. It doesn't have to be, you know, one or the other. But if you really want to have that shimmer. And sometimes I'll take my duster brush and like dust a little bit of shimmer here which gives me that whole sparkle that whole glow that i um all night long so that's really really fun even if i get my shirt dirty so what like i'm, I'm doing it for the night so those are like a couple of my things and all all oh of course my red lipstick ruby woo by mac it's this is what i'm wearing now it's my absolute favorite um so this is a nice red for any skin tone i absolutely love this one so that's one of my actual favorites. And then um, Ardell has this whole eyeshadow palette. And you can see that when you open it, it's like all of these really pretty colors um, that'll give you a shimmer. Even if you're going for a smoky eye, you'll have a smoky shimmer eye. So I love that. And I think this whole thing is sold at Sally, so if I'm not mistaken. Um, I just happened to get it at the Ardell launch. Um, and then also, girls, 
you know how we're like bad chicks and we have like these little big cute hobo bags and get all of our stuff in there and they're dope and they spend all, you know we spend a lot of money on our, our handbags <laughs> not for date night date night needs to be easy breezy cool you're there for him not to whip out your portfolio to show some clients so kind of leave that big boss chick bag at the house in the car and just go for like a little shimmer cute little bag a little clutch this I always pull this one out because it's my go-to but you want to keep it small keep it simple keep it um keep it minimal and keep it chic all these go in your bag for the night is literally like your keys your phone your your lipstick to reapply maybe your brush and um that's it you don't need the the whole week's work in your bag we're not doing that tonight is just for you and he okay or is it you and him I don't know somebody help me out with that so those are just like my go-to's and then I wanted to tell you about some cute little sexy little boots that I got aren't those super cute um they're actually too small so I'm selling these they're a size 7 they are from BCBG um, I only wore them one time so make an offer but a cute little boot like that will be super dupe with like boyfriend jeans or skinny jeans um th these kind of shoes accentuate your leg and it actually elongates your leg I should say so cute little booties like this I absolutely love for date night they're super cute they're sexy they're danceable you can work with pretty much anything so cute shoes like these are super super cute um but in terms of what to wear there's a couple, I, I would say five, that I would say are my actual go-tos. I like leather, leather dresses, leather skirts, even, even leather faux, legging, or faux leather leggings are super, super sexy. Um, for This literally is year-round seasonal that I'm talking about. Leather is a very sexy fabric um, that I think we all um, equate power and sex appeal um, with leather. Don't know why, but we do. So that's always a go-to, like I said, animal print for sure. Even if you're rocking all black with like an animal print bag or animal print little scarf or animal print little shoe, that's a really cute little uh, combination. Um, I love to do, um, if I am gonna do, like if it's like date night bowling, a cute like skinny jean, rocker shirt, a cute little top, whatever, little off the shoulder, or of course collarbone showing top. That way I can wear my, my booties with that. I can wear sandals with that. I can even wear if I wanted to. I can do like a super high heel that's really sexy just because it still gives me sensuality without being overdone. And then, of course, I'm going to change out my shoes anyway for bowling, so it doesn't matter. But it still makes you look and feel, and he will see you as, oh, she's really sexy today. Um, so that's another one of my go-tos. Uh, my other one that I want to share with you, okay, leather, red, of course, um my animal print oh if you're gonna do an LBD do you like a power shoe so because you don't want to wear all black so if you do like a um, a little black dress with like maybe like a aqua shoe or a yellow shoe or even a red shoe or something that has more fun and um, excitement to it even if it's a polka dot or stripe or metallic that will again accentuate your legs elongate your legs and actually draw his eye to like your legs your thighs which is what we we are giving off that 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 pheromone sensuality right so that's a really really cute idea that I love to pair um, with for my clients um, also in addition to an LBD if it is kind of breezy outside a cute little light jacket because you want him to wrap you in his arms right so don't wear like a summer coat like let I'm sorry a, a winter coat let him like kind of, oh are you chilly come on over here um, so just wear like a cute little light cardigan a little sweater, an affinity scarf, a denim jacket, um, even if it's a, a, a leather model jacket, those all will pair well with whatever you have on. If you are going from day to dinner, if you are, if you are not, I, I do this, I actually pack my clothes. Like if I'm going to be changed, if I'm going to be going out, I'll bring my dress or whatever I'm wearing and I just keep it in my car. Change like at a fabulous hotel or whatever, or I try to wear something that's daytime and nighttime. Like a black strapless jumper I can throw a blazer over it for work and take that off put on a pair with a necklace or a pretty earring with a, and change out my shoe and now it's a daytime now it's a nighttime piece or add like a sparkly belt nighttime piece so that may really help you go from day to dinner all day long so you just rock your vans or whatever all day and then when it's time for date night switch them out 
Lotion, of course, your legs and make them all pretty and sexy. And then you're ready for like the nighttime. Um, sometimes girls are going out with the girls. And I know you're going out with your girls, but you know you're going to see some guys out there. And, you want, and if you're single, you want to be approached, of course. Or if your husband just happens to come out and see you, you want to kind of be, be as cute, but not as sexy, of course. Um, if you're just out with your girls, but still kind of keep with the, with the notion of minimalism, power color, red, um, a leather, an animal print, a sparkle, maybe if it's like a sparkle shirt, cute little skinny jeans and heels, you're ready to go no matter if you are with your girls or if you're with the guys. So it really, it, it doesn't matter. But you kind of want to dress for the occasion as if you are going to be, I kind of pair my date night and girls aren't kind of in the same same categories because it's still going to be sparkly it's going to be sexy it's going to be um um maybe a little flowy i like flowingness around my tops a little bit um or if i wear like a wide leg pant i'm going to wear a fitted top high heel um, if i'm going to go dancing i try my best not to wear long skirts long dresses i want everything to stop like at the knee or just rock some pants um and then what's my last little tip I should have wrote, wrote it all down, huh? Um, shame on me. Um, and then finally, if you are going from day to dinner, um, I keep in my trunk literally <laughs> one flip-flop, one ballerina shoe, one high heel. I've always done it. I just, sometimes I'm always far away from home. Always, usually always. And so, a, I'm not going to go buy anything because I know I have tons of clothes in my closet. But if I plan for my week, you plan for your week and you plan for your night, you already know. Friday night, I'm going out. I need to be ready. So I'm going to pack all my clothes. So if you just keep like a simple black or ba black or nude um, flip-flop, high heel, and um, a ballerina shoe, you can go anywhere. If your shoes are hurting and you're out dancing, the ballerina shoe will save you. The flip-flop, not so much. You're going to be a little like kind of ratchet we don't want that so anyway so those are like my tips for like how to you know effortlessly switch out your clothing from day to dinner what to wear and um if you are going to like a business casual dinner but then you're also going out afterwards which is a little bit tricky the lbd will always save you again switch out your accessories depending on the night so I, if i'm gonna wear lbd or like this is a little red dress i can um pair that with like some nice hosiery that are if it's for the occasion for a business dinner, maybe with a cute little blazer and then maybe a cute little like um, pump, soft on the ears, not gonna be d doing too much here, but then afterwards I can take all of that off, put on a pretty necklace, my all my bling like I told you about, and I'm ready to go for the nighttime. So it's really about knowing what's in your closet. I always tell you guys that. So before you go out shopping, know what you have in there. If you already have little black dresses, little cute skirts, Hosiery, you can pair it the right way and still be able to pull off an effortlessly chic ensemble. Let's see what time it is. Okay, it's 7:12. So I haven't seen anybody come on. So I'm going to um and this is this is good for me to know. So I'll probably from now on stay on my personal page. So if we're not Facebook friends. Friend me so that we can have the party started on Facebook. French on my Facebook personal. Um, so anyway, so um, so yeah, so I'm not gonna hold you guys because I, I wanted to be able to interact with more people and do like a QA. So um, I'm gonna let this video in and then you guys please save it and then type whatever your questions are, and then I could just kind of come back and um answer all your questions. And then one last thing before I let you go. I had a client, I gotta tell you this story real quick. I had a client call me, which at the time she was a potential, and she was telling me all that she needed, you know, business and all this fun stuff. Why she need, needed me to take her shopping. And so when we finally, I finally come over and we, you know, are going through her closet and I was just like, what do you wear when you, when you guys go out? She's like, who? And I was like, you and your husband? She was like, oh, that's just my husband. I'm sorry. Did I miss something? Ladies, I don't care if you've been married for a year or for 60 years. 
that's your like your life partner you got him by being sexy and cute why do you have to stop i really want to encourage you to make sure you keep the passion for your life your career your family and your marriage and your relationships keep that at the forefront because it's not fair to him that you can climb in the bed with flannel, flannel pajamas every night. It's not fair to you to go out looking like him. Why you got on a baseball jersey and a hat, tennis shoes, and big jeans? Why? No. At all times, keep your femininity at the forefront of a relationship, at the forefront of your wardrobe. Okay? Always, always, always. I never want to hear you guys tell me that's just my husband. You wanted to be married. Would you be happy if you were single? Would you be happy if he just saw somebody else? And that kills me. Don't be that kind of girl where you're mad when he's looking at somebody else when you you are dressed like his homeboy. Sorry, I'm on the soapbox, but come on. Like, I am here to change and transform some things and, and some of that stuff is internal. So I wanna make sure that you guys, when I take you shopping, we're also buying date night clothes. We're also buying lingerie for when it's time to go to bed because this is the person that is funding your dreams or at least helping you in some way taking care of your of your lifestyle as a husband should and do all the things even, even if he's a deadbeat like come on like i'm sure he's not because i don't know those kind of people but like do it for yourself you always want to feel feminine and beautiful at all times and if you're letting things beat you down it's like oh that's just we want to talk about that we want to re rearrange some things mentally because you always want to keep your feminine presence, keep your feminine energy, okay? Let that lead you, let that guide you. That uh, My feminine energy literally guides me even in work because it's not that I'm being flirtatious, not that I'm being sassy and saucy, but the, the feminine side of us is what gives, it was, gives us power to speak and hold ourselves at a higher standard than everyone else because we are queens, we are women. Like if it wasn't for us, there'll be no world, right? Like let's keep that kind of going. So I wanna always encourage you to not get lackadaisical, not get so comfortable in your relationships where you're just like, he's fine because I'm telling you. Not that he's gonna walk, but it's just like you, you, wanna, you wanna be at his top of his mind all the time, all day, all night, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, that should be, y'all should keep dating each other. That's one thing I learned from my old marriage was that I didn't keep dating. You know what I mean? We all got stuck and it's like, I, I, I got stuck so soon. It's like, who, who does that? But if no one teaches you and shares with you, then you don't do it, right? So I want to just encourage you guys to don't be that way. Like, my client and I, we sat down and she cried. I'm like, why? Why do you say that? No, that's your baby. Let's, let's change that. And, you know, sure enough, the next week we went shopping, got her some beautiful lace bras and panties. And um, um, he likes black lace. So I got, like, tons of, like, cute black lace camis to go under, like, her jackets because it still reminds him, oh, I love that. You know what I mean? And so I paired it with, like, the right things, but it made her feel sexy and beautiful because he was like, hey, sexy, oh, I like that. You know, whatever. He started to notice her again. Sometimes they lose the sight of, of what they have because you're so busy covering up. You're so insecure with your body because of the kids or you just gain weight because of life, whatever. But I want to teach you guys how to dress for the body that you have now. The lifestyle that you're living now so if you need help with that area don't i don't want to hear let me just lose 20 more pounds and then i'm gonna call you no you're never gonna call me that's never gonna happen how do we how do we make you look good and feel good now right okay so box is over i'm gonna let you guys go happy friday happy 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 fashion friday um again if you always i always want to close out with how to reach me email at styledbydeanna at gmail.com, my website, deannadupree.com, um, and so, 323-400-5621. So, and of course, Facebook, simply Deanna Dupree, and Instagram, Deanna Dupree. Everything's always my name. So, I'm gonna let you get out of here. I love you guys. Inbox me if you need anything. I hope you have a good a good Friday. Be beautiful tonight. Feel beautiful. I'm, I'm available via text or inbox if you have questions about what to wear tonight or next week. So I look forward to seeing or hearing from you guys, okay? Talk to you soon. Bye.